que tengo y todo. Welcome, everybody. Hello, welcome. <laughs> hey, Rosa. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, Leah. Let me click this away so I can see the faces. It's always so lovely to see the faces. Leah, you, you show you are showing you are taking us into a store this time instead of the forest. I'm still letting some people in, so. Ah, I, I see two times the Raya. Maybe it's, maybe there are two or someone is logged in two times, which is possible, of course. You know, even logging in to, in two ways to not miss it is this too. <laughs> okay, so welcome everybody to this week uh, open Zoom meeting. Well, yeah, this is it. Sitting somewhere in front of a screen. Emerson, nice to join. Nice to see you. Sitting in front of a screen and watching, listening. Is this already? This is it. And, um, well, what to say? Everybody's waving. Let me admit some more people. I see some new faces. Ian, welcome. Oh boy, I see a dog. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Beata. yeah. <laughs> me <laughs> so this is it um just what's happening zoom meeting or whatever you want to call it gathering um yeah and anything may happen there may be a sense well this is interesting maybe there's something to get for me tonight maybe i will become uh free or I will become enlightened or maybe I will be so glad that I will see happiness and I will laugh the whole day anything may happen questions answers and there's already no one doing just this so this is it even thinking that there's someone doing the listening or doing the watching is this already so whatever is happening or not is already you less or me less or whatever you want to call it and we can call this life or awareness or liberation or freedom whatever it's called or not is this already And liking this message or not liking this message is this too. Thinking this is a very dangerous message. And this message can lead to a derealization or depersonalization of the me. Is already just innocently this. And there's already no one scared for this message. There's already no one afraid of this message. And even being afraid is this too. Thinking it's a load of bullshit. Thinking it becomes boring after a couple of times. All that is innocently this already. So yeah, welcome. Um, is there anyone who wants to share something? I see Hadar, you don't have the camera on. What's up there? Are hey, you hi everybody. So happy to see you guys. We don't see you. I have something to say. Hmm. <laughs> well, get it out. Hmm. 
Hadar, I remember seeing you last time, and uh, I remember you were very quiet and <laughs> complete opposite of what I'm seeing right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> happy oh, birthday happy birthday wow happy birthday awesome. happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday <laughs> so who, who was who was having a birthday i don't get it i have oh, a the... birthday <laughs> cool Thank happy you, birthday sweetheart. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. What a birthday. Cool. So, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to me. Happy <laughs> birthday to me. <laughs> it's oh, good to go all night like that. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, wow. Abby, this is so cool. I love it. <laughs> it is good for everyone or not? Yeah. Not fireworks. <laughs> I'm loving the special effects. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the fireworks. It doesn't work. I love it. I love it. So, sweetheart, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so happy. Here, I, I have to tell you a secret. Yeah. Here, every day is a birthday for no reason at all. And I don't know why, but it is as it is. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Yep. Did you have a cake? Did you have yeah. a cake? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no crumbles? Cookie crumbles? Uh, cookies, <laughs> of course, cookies, sweetheart, but not a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Bella yes, too. Oh, crumbles. cool. Beautiful, Emmy. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Miss Alabella. <laughs> Great. Hadar, I wanted to ask, uh, how did you come to this? Because I remember last time we were on the same call and uh, you seemed very, you know, deep in thought and... We were just all, everyone else was just talking. And then I've seen some other videos with you in it. And then all of a sudden, it seems like you found something. Maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I lost everything. <laughs> Nothing was found. Everything was lost. <laughs> and that is fun. <laughs> that was the party. <laughs> Hadar, sweetheart, thank you very much for this. Love ya. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, Rosa is every day, it's booming. Every day is party. So uh, <laughs> just talking to you, it's a party. You know, when you're sad, when you're happy, it's always a party. Uplifting. So it's Thank your you, day sweet. today, darling. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I see another coincidence as well. Uh, Emerson. Your face is familiar to me, and um, you had an interview, or you were supporting um, another talk with uh, <laughs> one of my goddesses I call Naho Awada, and that's where I remember you from, and then that's where this came about for me personally anyway, and uh, I just want to say, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hooray! Happy birthday, Rosa. Thank you, Emily. just Amy came here for the birthday cake. Where's the birthday cake? No birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I have to go. Um, I just wanted to say hi. Love you. Love Thank you guys. Thank you. I love you. And, uh, Enjoy, sweetheart. Thank you. Bye. Love ya. <laughs> love ya. Enjoy, Amazon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Julius, what was it with Emerson and Naho? Yeah, so... um when I was on the path, so to speak, uh, seeking really hard, um, I came across uh, a couple of YouTube videos and then Naho Awada, who speaks about non-dualism uh, in her style, uh, I started watching her videos. And then uh, coincidentally, I saw Emerson like facilitating one of her events. Um, and I just wanted to share, once I saw her, like 
<laughs> something seemed to click at that moment at that time and uh that kind of led me to this even though this was already the case and it was just interesting an interesting happening that just happened for me personally so i want to share that yeah it was really nice cool thanks for sharing so this happened sweetheart this happened to you personally something clicked That's yeah, what I felt yeah. like, yeah. Well, saying it, it's personal is already impersonally this. I mean, it doesn't matter. Saying it happened to me or it happened to know me is already just simply this. Feeling it's personal or not personal is already impersonally this. Whatever is happening. Or not happening is already just meless or youless or eyeless or however you want to put it. Even or she none of that. It. Sorry, Beata. Or none of that. <laughs> or none of that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, whatever. Yes. <laughs> none of that. Oh, whatever you will say. <laughs> yeah, or not say. say. Whatever you will say or not say. Even if me found this, it was already done even before that <laughs> kind of thing. So it was just interesting to experience it anyway, whatever that was. <laughs> yeah, so, so talking or not talking, it's, it, it doesn't matter. It's still just this thinking that not saying something is better than saying something is already just simply this. It doesn't matter. Even thinking it matters is already just simply this. This is it. With words, without words. With thoughts, without thoughts. Believing it or not believing it. Liking it. Beata. This message from you, this is this, is like a comfort blanket. It seems like you know. Yeah, well, that's it too. Thinking that I know this, that it's just this, is this already. What is this? Well, there is no this. There is not a thing called this. Saying there's just this is just saying there's just this. Thinking someone knows this, is this already? So making an assumption, well, it sounds like you know that is already this. Then what you avoiding for by saying this? This is this. Well, thinking that there's someone avoiding something when he okay. says it's just this, is this already? So making an assumption or a conclusion that someone is avoiding something else is this. But from my point of view, it's like you know this is this. Yeah, I'm not going this to is, argue. What is this? What is this? What is, what is this is this saying what is this is this already so wondering what this is is this wondering what this is why you have to say that why why there's no why to this but why, it's something like why are you saying this or why are you doing this is this already so wondering why you want to say this or you are saying this is this already And having a problem with that or not liking it or wondering why is it? There is no judgment behind this. It's just conversation about something which can be expressed, which is, which is paradox itself, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we can say it's a paradox or it's, it's strange or it's... Everything based on a paradox and chaos, really, like... We don't know. Well, like my point is like saying this is this. I don't pointing to you, Sander. It's just in general, like it's like subconsciously, this sentence give you comfort. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. this, and then fine. Well, oh. Anything may happen. Yes, you know, may, finding this very comfortable. You know, like oh, it's just this. It's just this. 
-hmm. is maybe very comfortable. That's it too. Yes. Trying using this as a mantra or something or as an escape. Is this already? Yes. So? No, I have no, I don't know, you know, I just, you know, I'm going for birthday. <laughs> and I'm just like trying to make a conversation, that's it. But the, the, this is like, seems like, you know, by saying this and who wants to say that? Why? And every single answer is just that is this, then why asking the question? If this is this, is obvious. Is this full stop? Exactly. But there, you know, there's no one able to stop this, so to say. There's no one doing this already. How do you know that? Well, there's no knowing of that. That's just another assumption that someone knows this. Everything is assumption. Everything is bullshit, really. Well, saying everything is an assumption is just another assumption. There's no escape, yeah? And even yeah. though we don't know if it's escape from this. Yeah, and saying I don't know is just another knowing that you don't know. Who knows you don't know? Or who knows no one knows? You hear this mumbling. It's so weird. Like, why, why we have to say that even? I mean, in general, because we have so many seekers. Like, everyone seeking. What you're seeking, really? What you want to escape? May I add something? Sorry, I love to interrupt. Um, it just trigger, you know. I love trigger everything. Uh, like no, uh, I, when you said there are so many seekers, I don't see any seekers. Like having question, answering, making. Yeah, this is this is simply very natural. I, mean, like, I don't up. mean like in person, like uh, Rosa, Sand. I mean like is this energy? this play out you're seeking answer you're seeking the truth you know we yeah this is exactly the so same you're, as the need you're seeking identity you try to find uh, yeah when, as a child when you adopt it you want to know your parents you know you have this yeah this, the same. this is i got i got the point this is for me the same as uh, very naturally arising is the need to go to the toilet no difference in this Really? Well, seeking, the seeking i mean yeah there's nothing wrong you know here there's not um you know seeking yeah seeking is just seeking seeking fulfillment it's just seeking. Seeking freedom you know and there may be a sense that it's bad or there may be an idea that it's wrong i need to stop seeking well that's it too you know wondering why everyone is seeking or why some is seeking and others are not seeking that itself is already just simply what's happening as is finding it bad or wrong or dirty or claiming that it needs to stop. Who decides that? Who decides okay. what? You, you are the one who is making the movement. Like you decide, you make something valuable. Well, the idea that you are doing this is already just simply an assumption which arises. This is concept, the of course, is concept, yeah. Or, everything, we're playing with concepts, ideas, everything what you know for all your life, what you learn, how you were conditioned. And you can't take answers from outside different way. You will always interpret everything what you know. From what the point you learn, even your language, your own language. That's that's how we condition, like that's how you receive the message. And never you will have the same answer and the same experience. It's like infinity. Well, yeah, what to say, yes. That's just how it seems to be then i mean even that is just another conclusion or assumption that it's everything that... is mind fuck really everything well yeah everything is a every, saying everything that everything you is will a mind say, fuck, for example oh, i had this i feel my energy 
And you have to interpret this through this. Always. This is this. This is this. And go from this point. This is this. Yeah, we can say it's all the mind. I don't want to say even because I don't know what is mind, but you have certain like download. And that's how you perceive. Whatever you see, you don't see really what you see. You see your ideas and concepts. Well, yeah, but and that's in, just another concept or idea that you see only concepts or ideas is just another idea or concept. Yeah, which I won't say, like, I can say, like, I'm aware of that. That's everything what I say is bullshit and idea. I'm aware of this one thing. But it seems like that everything appears uh, in this undefinable thing. Uh, the mind facts, saying the concept, everything is, is that as well. Uh, appearing in in this kind of space that you cannot even define. I call it space, but it's not space. Everywhere. So uh, everything is, is and the bullshit, bullshit, uh, feeling full, full or empty. Uh, every, every not something that you can say this is it, this is this or this is that, but it's just a pointer that everything you will say everything will happen every feeling every breath is is not exception it's not something separate from what it, what is so even the bullshit or not the bullshit or when we can say smart things or interesting or just like stupid things everything can happen there so it's including everything it's exclu it's 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 exclusive of everything so there's no you as a separate entity or something as a separate thing that will uh, can mm. say this is bullshit. Even saying I, bullshit, I, it's bullshit. My, my bullshit is not like force to make you feel offended or ignorance. It's just making a jokey way about it because I really... Will yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I, of course. I don't know, really. I don't know. You can say, oh, this is like... <laughs> of course. It, it just... It just or I don't know what is emptiness, how you can define emptiness, how you can define anything, consciousness. You cannot know. You cannot no. know. <laughs> this is the question. Yeah. You can have the question is the question. It's it's this already. There's no there's no answer for, for this thing. And you can answer also what, whatever you want to answer. Well, it's not so but much you can about knowing. Right? <laughs> I think but that's it's, it's the not this is not about knowing or not knowing. I mean it's not so much about knowing and not knowing. Thinking you know it or saying you don't know it is just simply this. So believing you can know it or not is already just simply what's happening. So saying, well, I don't know anything is already just this. That's well, of just course. another knowing. And as, well just sounds, know I am. and as well sounds like, oh, she said she don't know anything. That seems like she knows something because she said she doesn't know anything. Well, exactly. So there's simply no, there's no escape. You know, no, it's, it's maybe it's maybe it's not escape because this is still like from from my point of view, really, I don't know. I have no fucking idea where we are. What is this? That's it. Even for me, this is not this because this give you comfort. Then you can sit back like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I'm safe because in general, I think subconsciously we seeking safety bubble. As all of us, because in here everything relates on a survival level, like survival, the nature. Yeah, but that's just another assumption and conclusion which is made. Obviously, everything you don't take me seriously. I'm talking shit. Don't take, don't listen. Erase I have everything. a question. <laughs> I have a question. Michael, sweetheart. Hello. Sweetheart, what's popping up there listening to this? Uh, first, I want to say happy birthday, Rosa. Thank you. <laughs> How old are you, sweetheart? Huh? How old are you? 18? 
Uh, 46. Oh, happy birthday. I thought you say 18, uh, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, 46. <laughs> Whatever this means. <laughs> just nothing. Michael. Yeah, beautiful. So just this isn't saying anything. Just this is not... It's not saying anything. It's not a judgment. It's not... It's just whatever is happening already. It's just saying just this. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything, just this. And, yeah, even, the, yeah. and even feeling like it means something, that's it. That's this, feeling like it means something. Yeah, it can feel comfortable. Well, that's it too, you know, saying this, using this as a mantra to, you know, find that so-called bubble, which everybody seems to search is already just this. Using just this to feel good is this already. I mean, there's I nothing about <clears throat> this, Julius. Yeah, I like to view it in another way. Um, my way is a little bit more logical uh, through the lens of time. So <clears throat> the way I think about it is, um, so I guess we could kind of agree that the past doesn't exist, right? And the future hasn't happened yet, so that doesn't exist at all either. So what are we left with? What are we always left with? To having now, you have to have to have a past and future, then even now doesn't exist. So another way to look at it, when you think of the past, when does that happen? Or a possible future, when you think about it, when does that happen? When does anything ever happen? Ever, always. Well, Eckhart Tolle would say in the now, but I mean, <laughs> everything yeah. is happening in the present moment. Well, yeah, you know, liking every, you know, suggesting that everything is happening now, the past and the future, you know, making this very logical. I mean, everyone can see this, so to say, well, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, it doesn't matter if there's a past or future, right? I mean, whatever is happening doesn't care if it's past or future or present. I mean, whatever is happening doesn't care if it's real or, or not real. If it's an illusion or a dream. I and mean, hitting your finger with a hammer. And the description is just using concepts like time, future, real, not real, this, that. It's, it's just mind or mind not mind or whatever it's just something what is not yeah but there's nobody doing that already that's just what can seem to be happening but there's no doer behind it So, well, yeah, the doer, I mean, you know, there may be a sense, well, I'm doing this, you know, I'm talking, that's it. I mean, this this sense of me is just simply what's happening, as is saying that it's just simply happening. I mean, it's not even and about the, the doer. Even no doer. doer, no doer, is still idea, concept. It's well, not... Yeah. Rini, it's not me. Are you sure it's not you? Can you prove it? It's for no one. You're sure? You're really sure it's for no one? For for. It's Different like you without still, the proof. It's still using concept. Well, with or without the proof, does it matter? Like yeah, I don't. I don't. Changes. 
really, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I'll say something. Do you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, we, we hear you. Oh, Leah. good. Okay. I didn't know if I was getting through. Um, self can't get out of self. It's all arising. So it's like when people are seeking this enlightenment or a different state, it's like having a dangling carrot in front of your face that you can never reach because as you step forward, it moves with you. So it's never actually the truth or, or grasping some state or enlightenment or anything like that. It's just simply all we can say is it's just what's arising. Um, mm -hmm. Just this, because it's it's just literally you can't the moment you open your mouth and start formulating words, it's tainted. You know what I'm saying? It's just we can never say the truth of it because it's all arising together, simultaneous, just this. And nobody knows the truth of it. And that's the freedom right there. Because if anybody tells you what it is, it's BS. <laughs> it's just, it's the end of listening to like uh, somebody to tell you what it is. Or it, it's really about like just this, this booming moment, 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 fresh, new, always this, always this. It can be an intensity. Everything it can be a lightness. Right? What is your name? Sorry, Le Leah? Leah, yeah. Everything what you described, that sounds like you have preferences. We all like, do. Moving, that just naturally what, arises. Uh, what's the problem? Moving, what? what about yeah, crying? That's... What about depression? What about suicide? What about... Well, well, that's, well, yeah, obviously, well that's what yeah, I was saying. But... It, it, it's in everything. You can't escape it. Yeah, it's you a self-referential loop. It's always it. going to because arise. In it. You can't describe, you can't describe it. This is separation, what we are doing here, so-called, because you are in it. You can't say, tree couldn't describe itself because you are in it. Can I say your name? Is it Beat Beata? Beata, yeah. It's a beautiful name. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not... Not uh, don't feel offended by the way. I'm just. Oh, like, I don't. No, this no. Is this, like is no, no. Biata, this is beautiful. No, no. this is beautiful. This is. No, 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 no. This is beautiful because this is what's arising now, and it's stunning. Like Are you, sure? you know, our conversation. <laughs> yes, our conversation. <laughs> the back and forth. This is it already. Yes. There's nothing else to get other than this. It's so beautifully this that it can be like. Oh, I don't resonate with this, or oh, I resonate full on. It's it's any possibility arising right here, right now. So, but every word, every breath, every thought, it's it's always it. You can't get out of it. That's what I'm saying. It's always this. Does that make sense? <laughs> well, if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's this anyway. Well, I mean. <laughs> Sense or nonsense, <laughs> beautiful, Leah, it doesn't matter, you know, liking it. It doesn't or not matter. Not. It doesn't. For the seeker, it can feel like it matters big time, but it really doesn't in the long run. So, it, yeah. It it doesn't matter is also a concept. And, but, 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 but it's held, I think, a lot. There's of no belief. one to matter to. There's no, no, it's, it's deeper. It's not that it's, <laughs> it's a concept. It's that there's nobody but, here for it to matter to. Yeah, we use, but first you said it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So it either right. doesn't, if so, that infers that there's somebody that it matters to. Now you say there's nobody here. I, I can okay. go with that. There's nobody here, but that, that okay. doesn't mean that it doesn't matter. Okay. Or, or well, we can matters. get caught up in languaging, but it's yeah. not in the words, you know? So but, if you tie yourself to every little word I say, and that's okay, because that's what is appearing to happen. But in the same token, it's every word, every breath I'm saying. So if you're deconstructing every little phrase that I'm saying, you're missing that it's this already. Well, that's a concept. I mean, that, that I, I hear what you're saying there. That is such, that's a concept. And now, now you're going, <laughs> that's a concept. And now you're going to say, well, there's nothing here. And now what can I say? There's nobody here. There's nothing How here. How do you know what I'm going to okay. say? You're projecting what oh, I'm going to say. I've been enough. I've been not you personally. I don't mean personally. I've been to enough of these yeah. meetings to know where this goes. I know where, where, and the, why do you keep coming back? 
Why do you keep coming back? Oh, I, I love this stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love I, I love this stuff. I get okay. I get great I get great value. I did I get great value from it, but I'm not saying any of the stuff is true. But there's nothing all, to get. I, I get great value. I get great value. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, great. You know, when it comes to mattering or not matter, it, it it's not about ending up in a state where nothing matters. I mean, thinking that it matters that you have a have a job or not is just innocently this already. You know, thinking that things matter or not is just what's happening, as is preferences. There's nothing wrong with preferences. Preferences are just preferences. Liking to go to a meeting, liking these words, or having a certain preference to come here and not to watch a series on Netflix, it's just simply this. This is it. Liking it or not liking it, there's nothing wrong with liking preferences, thinking it matters or thinking it doesn't matter. It's already just simply this. And calling it the concept is this too. Calling it the belief, calling it conclusion, calling it um, a landing point. All that is already just simply this. Calling this a conclusion is just another conclusion that this is a conclusion. Calling this a belief is just another belief that this is a belief. I mean, calling Beautiful. this a landing yep. point is just another landing point saying that this is a landing point. And calling this a concept yeah. is just another concept. I mean, what is a concept? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I mean, yes, it's all blah, 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 blah. I mean, at the same time, liking the blah, 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 or not liking it, it's more blah, 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 blah. And, 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 there is a question from Albert in the chat. Can you say something about the idea that if there isn't actually anyone present here to perceive the so-called simply this, then this cannot be determined as either here or not here? Yeah. Yes, beautiful. Yes, exactly. You know, there is not there is not even a this. I mean, no one knows if there's a this or there's no this. There's not a thing called this. I mean, there's no one to acknowledge this or or not. You know, and saying there's just this, it's just saying there's just this. It doesn't say anything. Thinking it's the highest truth or it's the best is this already. I mean, it's hard to acknowledge this in the absence of a separated something besides this when there's not even a this to acknowledge this to begin with. Yeah, I see this as um, all potential possibilities. So we, we already mentioned like so many possibilities here uh, today. Uh, for example, it matters to me. There is a me. Well, I, that, that's a possibility. And another possibility is, oh, there's nobody. Nothing matters. That's a possibility well, too. Whatever arises, right? Well, there is, there, there is a you and there's no you, we can say at the same time. How do you know that? Well, I mean, who knows about anything? But one can say, yeah, you know, I mean, feeling like a me is just feeling like a me and thinking there's a me. So at least in the idea or belief that there's a me, there's a me. In the sense that there is a me, there may be a me. That's it. This is not about me or no me. I mean, this is, it doesn't matter if there's a me or no me. Like I said, you know, hitting your finger with a hammer, it doesn't care if there's a you or a no you. Screaming is probably going to happen and not liking. Whatever is happening doesn't care if there's a you or no you already. And even that is just another suggestion or concept or whatever you want to call it, belief or illumination, conclusion, story. So we can say it's all just a story, and even that is a story. We can say, oh, it's all just the mind. It's all just thought. Well, that's just another thought. There's just simply no way out. And, 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 there is really no one who gives a, no, not like this, who is caring about what we are saying. <laughs> well, you know, 
even there can be a strong sense well i care about what is being said yeah i mean that can happen you know thinking well it's totally bullshit what you guys are saying there tonight i'm shaking my head don't seem to have a problem with some things there well no i don't think so don do you have a problem with something which was said here well a, a, not it's, it's not a problem yeah I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with it it's just uh mm. that doesn't i i don't think it's true but i don't i it's not a problem i you know yeah <laughs> it's just blah blah right just playing with words in a way well it's just what it is yeah 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 exactly the beauty is that no one is saying this is true I mean, at the same time, thinking that this is the truth, is this already, you know, making this into something which is true or finding this the highest truth. I mean, saying there's just this is just plainly saying there's just this. Saying there's a God somewhere else in the sky is equally just this, just words, you know, and liking the words saying there's a God or there's no God. It's just this. This is it. Adar. Yeah, no, I was looking at Garrett. I was wondering what he what he was thinking over there. Yes, Garrett. How is it with the words? Do you have some words left to share for us tonight? Because last time there was uh, you didn't have so much words. So I was wondering. All up last week and the week before that, and uh, there's been nothing else to uh, remaining. Beautiful. Everybody seems to be laughing and joking, and I still don't get the uh, the joke. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Oh, Garrett, I love it. I totally <laughs> love it. <laughs> I I like listening to the ladies that laugh, um, like Rosa and Naho, like we mentioned Naho. And uh, I forget the other names now, but I'm always drawn to the ones who laugh the best, for the most. Beautiful. Uh, Andreas, uh, for example. and uh, But I still don't get it. <laughs> No. Yeah. There's nothing to get. I guess that's how I saw it at the time. Uh, when I was in this seeking mode, I was always looking for something. And then when I did the complete opposite and found out there's nothing to get, yeah, all the, all the, all the kicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the goodness started coming so i, I imagine that for those who get the joke and they laugh and laugh and laugh there must be 50 percent of the uh others that are very very depressed about it do you think so either all one way or all the other way all yeah. laughing or 100 percent is this so the beauty is when, you know, when there's a suggestion, there's nothing to get. There seems to be the objectifying, which is just simply happening. That I want to get that there's nothing to get. I want to see that there's just this. I want to know. I want to feel that it's just this. So in this, this so-called objectifying, making this whatever is happening into something which is gettable or not it's just simply this already so making this into something which is not gettable is in a way just another objectification i mean there's just simply no no way out out of whatever seems or believed or is felt or appears to be happening rosa oh uh, I just saw the chat uh, and I wanted to say something to Gareth that this this laugh in here 
this is just simply how the character plays out. And um, I can really just say that uh, I really did not get anything. And really, nothing, nothing. I did not understand anything. The only thing which really kind of um, felt like free, freeing, yeah, which I would simply call this is this is the fucking freedom. Excuse me for this. Uh, is really just seeing that this is everything already, everything, everything. And uh, this is a great in loveness with what is, but um, I'm not doing this. It's just happening. And I wanted to add that the laughing is not a state. Uh, it's just because there is an ease with what is happening. And it just everything is taken not so seriously as before. So uh, it's not because people laugh. It means that uh, they are liberated or they know something else. It looks like that. But just because there is an ease, it just, you know, it's not serious. So it's very easy to laugh after that. You know, or, the laughing or, comes very, very easily. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, sweetheart. Thank you for this. But also maybe like Garrett, seeing you, just seeing you, um, here is just uh, an impulse of, well, well, you know, this makes me smile when I see you for no reason, you know, for no reason. And um, yeah, you know, with it's my... very... Uh, with my negative uh, approach. No, no, no. When I see you, I see like a little boy, innocence. I see total innocence over there. And this makes me smile automatically. So there is a reason. Yeah, apparently there is a reason. I mean, you know, for no reason, and then the, a reason just comes out. I mean, that's it. You I can, know, I, so... of course, I can, I can tell you the whole time stories, story over story. But because you said because of your negativity, just popping out. No, 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 because I see beauty over there. I don't see negativity. It's your your beautiful opinion that this is negativity. I don't share this <laughs> with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> what is wrong to be negative? What nothing wrong. You can be angry. No. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yes. You just create idea. This is wrong, this is right. And yes. basically all this stuff which everyone I guess mentioned here is like you stop judging yourself. You just oh. dropping this um trying to trying to be someone, trying to impress. You, I don't know how to even call it. This is like a raw version of you without fluff, without playing out. It's like the mask go down and you can't be yourself, so-called, whatever. And there, there is this is what Heather, sa Heather said about like relaxed because it's, it's li lighter, I will say, like easier. Yeah, beautiful. You don't take anything personal because you just know is blah blah. You know. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. beautiful, beyond. At the same time, you know, taking things personal is what's the problem? You know, it's just simply what's happening. You know, taking things yeah. personal may just simply happen. You know, being angry with yourself that you didn't do something, so to say or that you did something wrong or whatever, or having doubts may just simply happen. There's just no way out. You know, yes, being this, anxious may just simply happen. This There's nothing wrong with whatever. As a character, uh, makes always like calculation. You play certain role because we become conditioned since we are born as a humans, because each of us experience human form here in the five senses. And that's our base. And of course, we were seeking comfort, pleasure, and every subconsciously, your your subconscious mind will always try to defend you from this is survival survival module, like to keep you alive. 
and you will seek in comfort, happiness. That's why we get obsessed because we create idea about certain things which we chase like the carrot. And at the moment you're on the module of chasing these things which you create certain idea about it and you try feed the box. Just relax. You are already in it. Conditioning. Is there such a thing as conditioning? There, I will say this is all bullshit, but this like going like into this certain picture of all of that. It's give you maybe some kind of like, this is like a drawing one little puzzle or whatever. This is like blah, blah. I don't, I don't like even talk about it really. <laughs> But somehow you have certain ideas about what we talk about, what is this, why people are happy, whatever. And you like compare yourself. And that's these things which is holding you back from fully see where you are. Uh, and even this is not holding you back because there is simply no you. Um, the idea that there is a you which is holding you back is this already. Um, it's really every every sound which is popping out, every movement, all perceptions, whatever you can think of or not, is this already. So it's uh, it's in a way saying that this thing is not serious anymore. I cannot take Rosa serious anymore. Whatever this means, it's just blah, blah. Um, here it's full on, no matter what. Full on, more than ever. It's very intense and there is nothing wrong or right with this. In this directness, Garrett, in this directness, just this. Every question is it and no question is it too. Thank you very much. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> I sorted, I sorted it all out. Mm. <laughs> Just relax and don't just be, be in the moment, like live your life, do whatever. Stop analyzing, stop trying to understand, uh, even without stop. This is so difficult to say. Well, it's, you know, it's hard to, to, to stop something which you are already yeah. not doing. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, it, it's quite hard, Garrett, to 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 undo or to stop something which you are already not still doing. doing. <laughs> so weird. Oh, many years ago, um, twenty years ago, I used to wake up in the middle of the night and walk down these stairs and count my money. I don't do that these days. I live in a bungalow, so I don't walk down the stairs these days. I haven't got a stair. But, but you still count the money. Yeah, I haven't got a stairs anymore, so that's half of the problem sorted out. But uh, Okay. Yeah. But my father was the same, you know. He used to worry for the rest of his life, you know. Uh, and nothing wrong with this. Yeah, it seems to be a curse. No. Oh. Yeah. If you say so, you decide. You create your reality. Yes, yeah. You believe. Yeah. you believe this is wrong, this is cursed. It is. Then it is for you. It creates your own uh, prison, I guess. Um, sorry, guys. I saw Taraya had a question. And as 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 he's connecting or to audio. Maybe you want to say it or want to write it down. Well, I mean, yeah, creating reality. So, I mean, there's no one doing basically anything, um, but thinking you are creating reality and having the sense or belief or feeling that you are able to create this is this i mean it's just what's happening the feeling the belief 
the suggesting. Um, so you, you, I will you... say something. It's like not creating reality, just give the meaning to whatever is happening. The, that's you who decide. Like you say, I have a curse. This is something wrong. You have to realize, take responsibility. Yes, I decide. I I I I decide. Just take responsibility for your own action because that's how this works. Uh, Beata, uh, mm -hmm. here here is popping up um, the idea that here is someone who is deciding something is already happening without someone in it. It's just the body claiming there is a me and I decide. Yeah, but it's very empty. It's very empty. Yeah. In this moment, when you take a step back, so called, I, there is like, no one who can take a step back. I, there I can see. stepping back can happen. Believing in this blood. idea can happen, mm -hmm. but there is no choice in this. This is simply naturally happening, like going to the toilet. There is no one doing you, anything. You sure? I have no fucking clue. This is just how you out here. But you, that's this, this is very confusion. I, I can also sing now, but here is like blabbering more kind of, it's popping up. <laughs> I'm not singing, but I can also, you know, before when you were kind of happy bursting, I was like, I wanted to sing happy birthday. But now it's just like booming out. No one doing this already. For no reason, for no reason. Just listening to your words, you mm. can step back. You can do, I would say, bullshit. Mm. The same as like <laughs> in in this case, anything what you say is fucking bullshit. Of nothing course, have a yeah. meaning, nothing, none. We don't know. This meeting is fucking duality, separation, because this won't happen. Well, you remind this is just an idea. This is just an idea. Of course, of course. Yeah, and yeah. rather, this is yeah. like comedy show. We have puppets mumbling. Talking and making some yeah, assumptions. Yeah, yeah. What a beauty! What a beauty! <laughs> so, this this meeting. I mean, when it comes to, I mean, you know, like in general, every single, even if we will go to cafe, have a coffee. This is this is just happening, obviously, but this is still unknown subject. Yeah, well, you know, and you can say it's already duality. There, there's not a I thing. I don't want even duality, non-duality, whatever, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, but, but it's all blah, blah. But at the same time, five seconds ago, you said it's all duality. And then you said it's blah, blah, which is just already but just... When, when did I say? What what you mean, uh, reality? You, you said it's all duality. Duality. I said like... Because duality is like you have subject, object, yeah, if you use these terms, but everything is as well, blah, blah. Someone observe, make a decision about label this that way or that way. But we really don't know. We don't know. Speaking about then you can oh, step. This is not about knowing. Yeah, I mean, this is about yeah, when you say, when you say, when you say we that. really don't know, we really don't know. I mean, for me, it's really the same like we do know. There is no difference mm. in the sentence we don't know or we do or know. know. You see, this is simply so there is no meaning to everything. Making no. a meaning out of this is this already. It's just how the cookie crumbles, it's just music. <laughs> I mean, saying you know or feeling you mm. know or believing you know or you don't is already just what's happening. Screaming, nobody knows this is already this. Or say nothing. Or saying say nothing. Say nothing. Yes. Yeah. So, but whatever is happening sitting in a meeting is already not separated from something else. This is it sitting in a meeting. It's everything already. It's already not to. It's already just simply this. This is not separated from this. This is it sitting in a meeting talking saying i know i don't know i believe i don't believe doing the playing with the tutor to 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 whatever <laughs> Adar. michael I mean, raising up his hand wanting michael to say raising something. up his hand thank you rosa for teaching me how to do the hand thing um i just wanted to say that gareth you know when you shared your story oh, 
it was so I was so moved, you know, it was so touching. Uh, uh, the 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 character going downstairs to count his money. <laughs> Beautiful, right? It's so relatable. I want to make sure I have my money. Let me go count it. So innocent, Gareth. Beautiful. I didn't well, actually, beautiful, I, yes. I didn't actually see the money when I went down the stairs because it was all on the computer in those times. So you had nothing to count, but you could just see it on the screen. Yeah, it's but just thing. being comforted by seeing it. Yeah, that's right. I'd be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, worrying about if your money is there is just what's arising, so to say. Yeah. Worrying, is my money still there, just suddenly arises, so to say. And you may think it's my money. <laughs> it's my goddamn money. No, that's it too. Claiming it to be my money, or I'm the owner of this money, or I'm the owner of this body, or I am the owner of these words, or I'm the whatever is already just this identifying with this form or not is this already claiming there to be a you or no you is already just this and liking one or the other is equally just innocently this so whatever is happening or not preferences likes not likes calling it bullshit finding it bullshit or finding it very valuable is already just innocently and effortlessly just this. This is it. Thinking there's a you, there's nothing wrong with thinking there's a you. Thinking there's a you is just thinking there's a you. Believing there's a you is just believing there's a you. Feeling there's a you is just feeling there's a you. So what? There's no one, you know, no one is asked here to believe anything or to like anything. This is not about you have to see it this way, no. Seeing it in a certain way is already just simply innocently happening. Rosa. And also, and also, what's cool is just like it was like here, mm, you're hearing for the first time this uh, non-dual message. There is no you, and I was like, wow! And then with the explanation from a spiritual teacher, hearing why there is no you, the explanation to this. And this was a beautiful, and I started to believe it. I started to believe it and was totally convinced. And then this simply changed for no reason. It just changed. So um, those things come and go, come and go, come and go like clouds in the sky. It's very beautiful. I like it. That's why maybe I'm also laughing a lot. <laughs> yeah, or, or you're, just, you're just laughing. I mean, yeah. You no, know, having a conclusion why there's laughing or an assumption, you know. I love I love making conclusions and assumptions. I can yeah, make well, a lot of out of this. <laughs> it plays so freely, you know, making an assumption or a conclusion what this is or why this is or why this is not or why this is maybe or whatever. It's just what's happening suddenly. Conclusions. This is because... You know, this is because of this. This is all because of conditioning or grown up or whatever, or because of the mind or the brain or whatever. It's already just simply this. There's just no way out. There's no way out of wondering, seeking what this is. So trying to find if this is real, if there is a you or not, is already just simply innocently happening, sitting here. So there was an interest to join. That's it. Just popping up. Let's join this thing. Garrett? Cassandra? Ah, okay, Taraya. Ah, Taraya, yes. Hey. Sorry, I, um, it kept coming out of the Zoom. It was lagging, so I'm using the cell phone, so I'm not able to go on the camera on the cell phone. Um, okay. There's a lot of nervousness present at the moment. Um. Okay, I um, we each have different preferences. My preferences is so much to be alone and, and in the quiet. I don't call it the, the boundless energy. I just, to me, it's always been silence because that's what the experience is. Just that lack of me and noise and that beautiful silence. And um, the story 
of late has there's been a lot of too much on the internet i guess um a little bit too much of that seeking energy was still there and it's in um that beautiful spaciousness i am uh, it feels at the moment experientially very small so it's uh painful it feels a lack of suffering and it's it, it's easy it's very easy to say when you're not identify who cares <laughs> that's what's just happening but if someone is reaching out to you center and saying can you guide back to that place please <laughs> you know that spaciousness um sometimes who you know it's funny i don't know how to say this but when it's noticed inside it there's a lot of laughter when it's when it's seen there's so much laughter and at the same time there's extreme compassion for anyone any other being that might not see it and you just and you want it from the outside you laugh but inside the dream there's compassion for others so i'm asking her if one would have a little bit of compassion at the moment because i'm a bit identified and it's not a pleasant sit not pleasant at the moment <laughs> and sometimes when you speak to another who's in that space it kind of brings you back into that silence without that you I can't speak because there's no words to, I'm not even used to speaking but I don't know if you can hear of my heart right now <laughs> there's a lot of love that wants to come out <laughs> because this is just love <laughs> And it no wants to express. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really. I was in this space for such a long time. I want to cause suicide. No pain. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I should get off. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Don't be sorry. No, no. You don't have to be sorry. Ooh. If, this, this, if, if it's understood when you have that lack of space, you're in a, a field of thoughts. So there's a lot of thoughts. So when the body is walking, it doesn't... When you transcend to something, because uh, have been experienced what... The one named Sandra is speaking for many years, and it's been bliss and peace. And uh, but there seems to be a habit playing every day, on like Groundhog Day. And the thoughts keep saying to end your life, but they, and I'm just going to expose it. That's what they say. And uh, I don't want to give any more energy to this anymore, but. <sighs> Just that's I'm missing my space. I don't know if I'm even making sense. I miss my space. It's so easy at night, and I'm so sorry I'm blabbering on. <laughs> Last night it was so beautiful lying there, and it's so quiet. It's like the actors, it's like the actors leave the stage at night, and you're just alone, and it's so beautiful. I'm just very sensitive, I guess, to uh, being, in, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I just want to miss I don't know what I'm saying missing that place that spaciousness that quiet yes oh, thank you thank you Mariah 
Thanks for We're sharing. here to walk in the home, so I guess. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, Garrett. Love ya. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I'll go now. Thank you so much, love. Taraya, thank you very much for, for sharing. If you want to chat later, you can uh, send me a message. Uh, thank you for loving. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, this is it. You know, missing the space, the quietness, wanting to go back, feeling very sad. This is it too. Crying your eyes out and not feeling good. Wanting something else. Having the sense that you have lost something which you had, which you want back, and expressing that in an open Zoom meeting in front of all kinds of people, it's just this. Have you, have you experienced as well depression, Sandra? Well, my um my no i have never been depressed but i'm living i'm together with my wife for 30 years and she was like very depressed from childhood until well i would say 20 years of severe depression um like extreme depression not wanting to live all those things, therapies, from therapy to therapy, medicines, many years of antidepressive medicine, all types of things. So I've seen depression, but here self, there was never a depression. I mean, having not a good day, so, so to say, may happen, you know, feeling, feeling a little bit off, waking up and not feeling okay or being anxious, stuff like that is just what's happening. It's quite but, um, like I, f I know a few people, like many of them experience this stage of suicide. I had as well after this, I don't know if I can call this Kundalini awakening or whatever, when you have the sense of losing everything and having no chance to grasp hold on to something and I think that might help Tara Tara, to just be patient and just relax into this don't fight and don't label this this helps because basically we create idea that we lose something we want to back and that's cause suffering this ideas around this just I don't know if I can call surrender because there is no one to surrender or whatever is just happening, but in a yeah. case of just relax into this, like just. Funny you mentioned that because I had a quote unquote energetic experience a couple of months ago. Um, and uh, it, it was a, an event where I felt extreme dread and it came out of nowhere. And I had no control. As much as I wanted to relax and surrender, <laughs> like said, there is no chance that that was happening at the moment. And then finally, after some time passed, I don't know how much time, it finally dissipated. And then I got control again over my body. Mm -hmm. So I don't yeah, know, Judith, whatever Judith, arise, like arise, derived, right? Yeah. Julius, this is cool. This is like uh, I had for a long, long time, a lot of years, panic attacks. So it's, it's exactly as you as you described this. This is just a feeling like there is no chance to relax into this. <laughs> no, you you can hear then this thing, but uh, whether it happens or not, 
there is really no choice in this. So saying try to relax in this is um, in a way like, okay, it's just happening, of course. But yeah. And, and then uh, making the conclusion that because of this training of relaxing into the panic attack, the panic attack dissolves is already just this. There's actually no connection to this. Or yeah. a connection, it's the same, yeah. As is seeking help, you know, seeking help for panic attacks may just simply happen. Seeking help, trying to do yoga or going to a teacher or whatever, going to a therapy or taking pills is as innocently as the panic attacks themselves. It's just what's happening. There's no one behind the panic attacks able to, to stop it. But at the same time, trying to stop the panic attacks or trying to control them is already just this. The need to, to stop this is this already. You know, as is finding help, as is giving instructions, saying, you know, just watch the breathing may just simply happen. There's nothing wrong with whatever is happening or not. Finding help or trying to find help for panic attacks or for depression or taking medicine and thinking it, it is helpful is already just simply this. And I mean, there's no one in a state of not acceptance able to come in a state of acceptance, you know. Acceptance may just simply happen or not as is trying to accept this. And this I, is, in, in, sorry, in, sorry, Zander, and this is the, the hopelessness part, which I say, this may happen or not. And um, I call it just, this is full on life. There is no me and life anymore. This is just aliveness. Um, we can say it's just depression. There's just depression. I or mean, just the person, it's the same. And um, and this this can, this can be very painful, very painful. Definitely a possibility amongst everything that could happen and anything can happen. That's how I see it. All possibilities can yes. happen. Waking up and feeling like, God damn, I don't want to have this day may just simply happen or I don't want to live. And this may just continue for a very long time. Or the opposite. I love life. It's the best. <laughs> it's great. Can't wait for yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> like, oh. like, sweetheart, beautiful. Totally resonating with this. You're, you're at those extremes playing out. Um, and uh, this is this is a feeling of I, I felt a lot, a lot of times very over overwhelmed of life. So there was no difference anymore in a panic attack. And full on aliveness, so overwhelming, not able to deal with this. And um yeah, yeah. Very full. That's why maybe I, I love this boom. <laughs> a relaxation may happen and this full-on overwhelming whatsoever relaxation may happen yeah what a beauty yeah it's full-on either way positive negative these words we call it whatever's happening is full-on yeah there seems to be the idea or belief that you know when there's a certain type of freedom that you know feeling sad or feeling off will never happen i mean Anything may happen. Feeling sad or feeling happy may just simply happen. I mean, that, that it's not like, well, now I will always feel glad. I mean, who's there to, to control that situation of, you know? I really love the expression, it's a free fall. No one is falling, it's just a free fall, no landing. Thinking there is a landing space is is already just a free fall. Yes, I mean, tomorrow losing your job and feeling very depressed may happen. Yeah, totally. Or not. So Whatever. It, it already it's has nothing to, it, <laughs> yeah, It already has nothing to do with it. 
with you, so to say. Th these so-called emotions or, or, you know, beliefs or, or thoughts may just simply arise, you know, emotions. You know, Xander, a, Xander no this is your very, emotions. this is your very obvious that everything may happen. It's very, very obvious. <laughs> Nothing well, is excluded. <laughs> so, some things seem less likely. I mean, yeah, but nevertheless, but nevertheless, everything is possible. Saying that it seems more likely or not more likely, everything is nevertheless possible. <laughs> well, growing wings and, and flying seems less possible. <laughs> In a dream, this may happen. For now, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, something. This one. Seem <laughs> Sorry, Beata. I said in this one. <laughs> in the dream, in this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so funny, you know, because you hear this a lot. Um, well, it's all a dream, you know, it's all yeah. a dream, or it's all an illusion, or, but so. You know, calling if this is real or not, it doesn't really matter if this is a dream or not. You know, here, there's, it doesn't matter if this is an illusion or a dream or is it real or not real. I mean, anyway, it's just simply this, you know, hitting your finger with a hammer or lying in a bath and having cancer or crying your eyes out because you are depressed. It doesn't help if you say it's just real or it's a dream. Anyway, there's crying. You know, you don't escape cancer by saying it's just a dream. You don't escape the pain from hitting your finger with a hammer by believing it's just it's just an illusion. I'm not really here. It doesn't, you know, there's just simply no way out. Go, you know, and at the same time, calling this a dream or calling this real or calling this an illusion, is this already giving this a name, calling this a Zoom meeting or, or a philosophy group, is this yeah but as well like when you're trying to define then it's like you're seeking some kind of solution like um yeah it's very weird i mean um, and this, not, not this, is, this is always when beata say what try when you try to define you, you you're seeking a solution you know here directly is popping up. Well, this just happening, you know. <laughs> yeah, but innocently, trying. innocently yeah. trying, trying to help yourself out out of the shit is innocently what's happening. Loving this music, this therapist, this teacher is just innocently happening. Yeah, Being well, well, even avoid the label like liking or whatever. That doesn't. Yeah. That's just like a little bit of little. Yeah. Yeah, but basically, I get like. I get a little bit touched what Taraya said about because yes. I know it's like really um yeah it's so easy to say this is this like Sander said like and this doesn't mean anything for this person who basically stuck in this loop and trying to yeah but um I guess Taraya it's, it's not a dismission you, you know so sorry I want to I want to reply to this because saying just this doesn't no, it's no, not I mean, like... dismissing, you know. It's it, you know, the 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 sadness is 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 you know, it's as real as it can get. I'm not dim dismissing or trying to to but diminish I mean, what's uh, happening. It's it's full on, you know, crying your eyes out and wanting to take your life. Doesn't mean anything anyway. Like this is no difference. But there is um, someone who is reaching for some empathy, like Taraya said. And yeah. I think then like, but that's why I will I won't be open. I had this experience as well. It's like everything, everything, sadness, anger, laughing, com like completely b being blank, stupid, innocent. It's all, all, all. But may, may, like when you may. have, yeah, when you have like, Sarai, I will just I won't say I were there as well. And this is like, don't be afraid. Maybe this will help. Just like, it's nothing unusual, I will say. Maybe this will help to her a little bit ease in this uh, moment. I don't know. It's nothing, nothing what really anyone can do, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but this is what just popped. So, so here there's only compassion. 
you know when i say that's just this that's just an acknowledgement or you know yeah i guess these words as well give some kind of ease like oh yeah <laughs> and and here here taraya sweetheart i just want to say that here it's very obvious that um that Saraya is going to 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 join Zoom meetings or uh, be in conversations with uh, characters, which are perfect already. The the you cannot do it wrong, sweetheart. It's always perfect as it is. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna leave you now. Rosa, happy birthday! Thank love you, you. <laughs> thank you, my love. I love you more. <laughs> Good night. Happy to see everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, guys. I think we're going to um stop end also. the show. <laughs> end the show. <laughs> All um, right. <laughs> I want to thank everybody. Michael, mm. Julius, Beata. Nice to see you, Beata. Beautiful that you were came along. Rosa, sweetheart. <laughs> Beautiful kind of, birthday, kind of birthday. Gone. <laughs> gone. Nice you were here. Always a joy, Michael. Hadar, sweetheart. Yeah. Judith, <laughs> nice to see you again there. Elizabeth, Albert, I didn't see your face. It's probably very beautiful. But maybe Daraya. next time. <laughs> Daraya. Daraya, thank you very much um, for your openness and for your sharing. If there's a need to talk, just reach out. Thank you, everybody. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, Zander. Thank Good you night. for the openness, everybody. Good night. <laughs>